Psalm 41. In this problem, the ODE is y double prime plus 4y equals t squared plus 3e to the t. My homogeneous in this problem can be assumed to be some solution e to the rc. Y homogeneous prime equals r e to the rt. Y homogeneous double prime is y homogeneous equals r squared e to the rt. Place into the expression above. We derive r squared e to the rt plus 4 e to the rt equals 0. We can cancel out e to the rt because it is never 0 in this expression. So therefore we have r squared plus 4 equals 0 and r equals plus or minus 2i. Our homogeneous solution is therefore a e to the 2i t plus b e to the minus 2i t. Now solving, now we have to find a particular solution for this forcing function we have up here. We have t squared plus 3e to the t. We assume Therefore, that is in the summation of linear solutions, the, the power solutions, t squared, t, some constant, and an exponential solution, 3e e to t, or some constant times e to t. Well, our particular, our guess, will be c t squared plus dt plus e plus f. Y prime particular t equals 2ct plus d plus f e to the t. Y prime, y double prime particular of t equals 2c plus f e to the t. Now plugging this into the expression above, we derive 2c plus f e to t plus 4 c t squared plus 4 d t plus e plus 4 e plus 4 f e to t equals t squared plus 3 e to t. Now gathering all the terms together and their constants find that t squared, the equation for those constants, is 4c equals 1, for t is 4d equals 0. The constant term is 2c plus 4e equals 0, and for e to t is 5f equals 3. From this, we find c equals one fourth, d equals zero, e equals minus one eighth, and f equals three fifths. We can now write my particular of t. One quarter t squared minus one eighth plus three fifths. If our whole solution y of t equals a e to two i t plus b e to the minus two i t plus a quart t squared minus one eighth plus three-fifths e to the t. 
and it's our whole solution. However, in this problem, we are also provided initial conditions. Those initial conditions will allow us to solve for A and B, respectively. In this problem, the initial conditions are y of 0 equals 0 and y prime 0 equals 2. Now, y of 0 equals 0, apply the initial to the first equation, y of 0, we get y of 0 equals 0 equals a plus b minus one-eighth plus three-fifths equals zero. For the y prime equation, we get 2ia minus 2ib plus three-fifths equals zero. It might be equals two. Rewriting these equations, we get 7 fifths equals 2i times. I apologize, this is the wrong equation to start on, at least in this context. Rewriting the first equation for y0, we get a minus 24 fortieths plus 5 fortieths minus b plus minus 19 over 40 minus b. Now, we do the same thing over here. Plug this expression in for a. We get minus 19 over 40 minus b minus 2ib equals 7 fifths. 7 fifths equals minus 99 over 20 minus 4ib. B equals minus 7 fifths. for 20 divided by 4i. Rewriting this, we get b is equal to 7 fifths i minus 19 over 20, which is also equal to minus 19 over 80 plus 7 over 20. Sorry, I started by four right here. Plugging this in, we get A is equal to minus 19 over 80 minus 7i over 20. Now we have all the constants we have in order to rewrite the expression in terms of things that we know in order to definitely define y of t. Y of t equals our expression for a, which was ni minus 19 over 80 minus 7i over 20 times e to the 2i of t plus minus 19 over 80 plus 7i over 20. That's e to the minus 2i t. Now this is our homogeneous solution. Now time for writing on our particular solution. Plus 1 quarter t squared 
minus one eighth plus three fifths. That is our whole entire solution.